today sharing. Praise the Lord. Our God is a merciful God. No taking much time. Praise the Lord. This is what, okay. Let us pray for me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this session, this church service. When the time of sharing this word, Father God, thank you. You are touching lots of souls. Sending your anointing and power to each and every people. Father God, let this word manifest in everybody's life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, our God is a merciful God. Praise the Lord. Am I right? In the Bible, our God is not a cruel God. Okay. So, our God is a merciful Our God is having the mercy on you. Sometimes you have sickness. Sometimes you have lots of troubles. Okay. In my life, I face lots of troubles. But, even if you are going through all these things, but finally you come to know our God's mercy will come to know. The mercy shows God's deep attachment to the men. Praise the Lord. This is what okay. That means something you are not worthy to receive in your life, in my life. But because of God's grace and mercy, our God is granting to you. Praise the Lord. This is, a, this is what our God is doing to each and every people. Praise the Lord. So, um, this is what okay. This is what the Bible says. God has chosen to suffer with us. This is also shows. This shows the mercy of the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is a God, big God, manifested in this world, in a flesh like you and me, and died at the cross. This is a mystery. Because of the mercy of the Lord, we can see in that word. You know all the children of Israel. In the Old Testament, when we are reading the book of Genesis, when they came out from the land of Egypt to the wilderness, our God is protecting them, that is correct. But the majority of the people, only few people could enter the promised land. Am I right? Lots of people, they got died. The reason is, because of their sinful life. But in the New Testament, sometimes, if you are doing any other disability obedience, or if you are doing something against God, our God's grace, it will come and get you the protection. Praise the Lord. In your weakness, that's what I want to say. In your Holy Spirit is saying, in your weakness, our God will give the strength. The Holy Spirit is saying so so one Bible words. You can see that one. Book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. Can you read that one? If you have book of Isaiah, Holy Spirit is saying. Okay. Book of Isaiah, that's, that's what the correct word. It's not, I don't want to talk this subject, but this Bible word, but Holy Spirit is saying. Book of Isaiah chapter uh, 40, verse 29. In your weakness, our God is used of that words. You can see that one. Just to be four. 29 or 30. Book of Isaiah chapter 40. You can read that one. Book of Isaiah chapter 40. Um, when it says, Book of Isaiah chapter 40, 29. 29. Isaiah chapter 40. Yeah, yeah. 29, yeah. He gives strength to the weary. Yeah. To him who has no might, he increases power. That's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> this is what, okay, when you are talking, what is it saying? Look at this Bible words. Read that. <laughs> what is it is a helper, okay. Bible says, okay, this is what, he gives a power to the weak. That is what New King James Version is saying. New King James Version is saying, everything is correct, okay. He gives the power to the weak. Maybe the spiritually or physically. Maybe you are sick, okay. That is what, sometimes you cannot sit. sit. Maybe the pain, body pain, any kind of weakness, okay? And spiritually or mentally or walking, okay? In your weakness, sometimes your sickness will be the right or no, okay? Sometimes 
God will heal because of your relationship with God. Am I right? Our God simply will never heal anybody. In the I get it, but I'm saying, okay, even if I'm the pastor, if I'm praying, our God will heal because of my faith will heal. But if you are the child of God, without faith, our God cannot do any of the miracle. Am I right? This is what in the Bible, our God did the miracle. The people which they were present in the church in the synagogue. Am I right? The church, or they were hearing the word of God. That's what. Look at John, Gospel John chapter five, from five loaves and two fish. Jesus Christ multiplied. Okay. Then Jesus Christ healed the leper. He was having the faith in God. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ healed the centurion servant. He was having the faith in God. Am I right? That's what Bible says. Book of Hebrews chapter eleven saying, "Without faith, we cannot please God." Praise the Lord. And also Bible says, Jesus Christ could not do any of the miracle in his hometown because of that lack of faith. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say. Because of these words, Holy Spirit has said all these things. This was for you, I think. As I said, it was not my subject. Praise the Lord. How this is what? If you need something, God will provide. Bible says he he will give the power to the weak. Sometimes you are thinking, oh, this is I have my still my sickness is here, it's not here. How I can serve God? Praise the Lord. Our God will give the strength to manage the things which is there in the body, in your mind, and whatever you are doing, your workplace or everything. Praise the Lord. This is one. There will be a suffering if you are in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. But in this suffering, our God will try to. Get you an ability and power to manage everything. Praise the Lord. Yesterday, I was preaching the gospel in, in Norfolk, Praise the Lord, city center. So, lots of things happen when you start to preach in Colchester. The people they came and said, "You cannot preach the gospel here. You cannot use the mic." The finally, they said they were giving some law order. When you read that one. We can be able to preach the gospel. There is a right to preach. May the Lord. After that, they didn't come. So they didn't stop to us to preach the gospel. So only one thing, may the Lord. If you don't know, if you are not, if I am not reading that, that law point, I will never use the mic. This word. The same thing. In your weakness, how you will and I will get the strength and power. The reason is we have to read the Bible. May the Lord. So, in in you when you are reading Bible, you will get the faith. With, that's what Bible says. Faith is coming by hearing this word of God. Praise the Lord. When you are reading this Bible, this you yourself automatically will get faith because faith is generating not by our own effort. Faith is coming by hearing this word of God. By knowing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you want to become Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So that if you want to receive the faith, if you want to receive the healing, what you have to do first? You have to read the Bible. The people are in this church. That's what I told. If you don't have Bible, I can get you. Praise the Lord. So when you are reading this Bible, faith automatically it will get increase in your heart. The trick of the devil is. Devil want to take away the God's faith from you. Devil want to disturb you, confuse your heart. When you are getting the disturbance and confusion about God, our God cannot do anything. That's what Bible says. If anyone want to receive something from me, you should believe that I can do it for you. Right or wrong? That's what Bible says. Jesus Christ is asking to the leper, "What I want to do for you?" Right or wrong? Leper was saying, "Lord, I need a healing." And the leper, and the rejected person, the leper was declaring, "Jesus is a law, not a simple simple man. Jesus is a Christ." The leper he was declaring. How he could declare that one? Because a leper can to know that Jesus Christ has healed. Many people in the society, praise the Lord. The same thing. If you want to receive the healing today, we have to declare from your mouth, Lord, 
yet to operate our mouth and say, I need the healing. Praise the Lord. I need the deliverance today. Because in your word, from your mouth, you said, by your stripes, we are healed. Praise the Lord. We have to declare from your mouth, from today onwards. How do we have to declare? Until you are receiving the healing. Praise the Lord. Not tomorrow, not one day, not two days, not five days, maybe one year, maybe 13 years, maybe 25 years. Like Abraham received the promise. Many years until you are receiving in the answer of your prayer, you have to continuously keep on the stairs and to the Lord. We have to declare your faith in, God, in front of the Lord. This is what our God is saying to you today. Praise the Lord. Bible is giving guarantee to each and every people. What Bible is giving? Why Bible is giving? I will give you long life. Praise the Lord. So most of the people are thinking, Praise the Lord. I don't know. Some people are coming to the church. Born again people are not to attend the church service. Praise the Lord. This is what, okay. All, this is a will of God. All the people should come and make the fellowship with God. Praise the Lord. Unfortunately, born again people, they themselves come to know Jesus Christ. Now they are going for work. They are saying they are busy. They cannot attend the church service. Praise the Lord. That means if you are not worshipping God, praise the Lord, how our God can heal you? Jesus Christ healed the person who was having the withered hand. He was in the synagogue. That means in the church. Am I right? I don't know at which day and what day our God will heal you. You have to keep on, you have to come always attend the church service, the fellowship, praise the Lord, the good work with the God. I don't know which day our God is healing you. Which day our God is kept for you. Praise the Lord. A woman, he should, he should, um, that woman could not be able to stand properly. She was in the synagogue. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ healed that woman. He could stand straight. Praise the Lord. A person who was powerless person, four people brought that person in front of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel. That four people uncovered the roof of the house, brought that powerless person in front of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. That means in the fellowship, Jesus Christ can do the miracle, the healing and deliverance in your life during the time of the praise and worship and fellowship. Praise the Lord. Are you getting what I am saying? Jesus Christ will never go and heal the people, the world people. It is not the duty of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is not a cheap God. He is a mighty Lord and living God. Everybody need the healing and deliverance from the Lord. You have to present in front of the Lord. We have to say from your mouth, Lord, I need this healing, this matter I need from you. That's what our God is saying. Ask, you will get it. Okay. Seek, you will find. Right? Knock, it will be open. This is the will of God. If you are the children of God, our God is so much happy. You have to say, open your mouth and say to the Lord, Oh Lord, I need it. Praise the Lord. Say, Oh Jesus Christ, I love you. Praise the Lord. I need it. Praise the Lord. So, yesterday I went to Colchester. Praise the Lord. I was preaching the gospel. Even if lots of people came and disturbed us, nearly 20 people got saved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You want to be happy, Jesus. <laughs> the people, they, you know, that one, some council people, First of all, they could not, they were not allowing us to stand. Finally, we stand, praise the Lord. That city, lots of people, around more than uh, 15 people got saved. Praise the Lord. They said, okay. I want to say, people are from different colors. Praise the Lord. Got saved. So, we, if you are asking, our God is ready to do everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, that this will of God, we have to, um, this is the mercy of the Lord. Because of the mercy of the Lord, our God will heal you. So, I mean, book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Praise the Lord. Alanium. Book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 4, Bible says, Praise the Lord. And so, fight favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Again, Bible says, Praise the Lord. Verse 5, Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And learn 
and live not on your own understanding praise the lord hallelujah so another thing if you want to receive the faith if you want to receive the healing from the lord we have to trust in god that's what i said okay if you want if you need this kind of trust if you want to receive get this kind of trust in your heart then what you have to do it you have to read the bible praise the lord hallelujah attend the fellowship don't make a friendship with the wicked people you have to when you are living in this world you have to make friendship okay how many number of people i blocked in my whatsapp praise the lord because even you are making the friendship with them what they are doing what kind of spirit they have it will attack to us too praise the lord what kind of problem they are facing the rate your problem it will come to you too praise the lord not only to you your family your children too praise the lord the people are saying something against god praise the lord we have to talk to them but don't spend much time with them okay we have to share the love of god to them but you should not join with them what they are saying praise the lord this is what okay so if you are the children of god all these things you have to keep it up because devil is always 24 hours a day if you are the children of god right god want to heal you god want to get you long life the problem is we are creating the problem praise the lord our god is a righteous judge am i right he is a merciful god but there is a judgment am i right he is a righteous judge if you are that means if you are saying any of the words against god if you are saying anything against your uh, your friends or colleagues or anything from your mouth if you are not repenting our god is a righteous judge our god is not at all giving any of the authority to condemn stand against your friends or colleagues or brothers am i right most of the people you could not receive any of the blessings the healings and deliverance this is our reason praise the lord our god is ready to grant your healing and deliverance and everything because you yourself said against your friends your brothers and sisters praise the lord because of this reason our god is a righteous god you are standing against the commandment of the lord am i right you have to repent your sins come back to the lord praise the lord if you are repent your sins that's what book of isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 bible says in your weakness our god will give the strength praise the lord if you cannot able to repent our god will give the strength but you have to open your mouth and say oh god this is my fault i did the fault most of the people are justifying oh this is a reason no don't justify in front of the lord <laughs> okay this is okay our god knows very well you and me praise the lord our god knows very well your weakness and my weakness don't justify god you uh, have to say if you did any other fault this is my fault to god i am accepting this is what our god need innocent heart praise the lord then devil will not get in another voice to prevent your blessings praise the lord then our god forgive that one our god will apply you his blood our god will give the protection of from his blood praise the lord the mercy of the lord will come to you the grace of lord will cover to you then you will get a long life if you have any the sickness cancer hiv positive devil want to take your life from this earth our god will cancel that one in the name of jesus christ praise the lord give one of a clap to jesus christ most of the people are getting premature death because because of our work praise the lord that's what we have to keep our word this is what i want to say to everybody we have to say the thing impossible things will happen but you have to say with the lord it is possible praise the lord with the god i will get healing with the god i will get my paper work will get stamped with the god i will travel these countries with the god my children will get educated people praise the lord they shall be there will be a better people not only in this country in all over the nations with the god i will see the one day i will see the vision from the lord with the god i will get a job something maybe you cannot see anything in your eyes yet you to repeat the promise words of the lord this is what our god need from you and me praise the lord hallelujah so are you getting what i'm saying this should always is okay and you know second thing if you want to receive something from the lord as i said okay we have to trust god when you are trusting god the lots of people will come and discourage you when i start to pray that see when you know now our group people are coming with me to pray the gospel if they are not coming should i 
sit in the house no i will put petrol i will travel i will never look at how many number of people are joining with me i will never look at people are coming to this church or not i will make all the setup i will preach the praise the lord hallelujah i will do my job whatever god did our god has given i will do my job every day very well not very well whatever i can do little bit i will try to do it praise the lord hallelujah i will never stop my god's work praise the lord sometimes the last time one of the brother was saying uh, pastor was saying it's raining how will go and preach the gospel i said i have umbrella i'm coming okay we are staying all the umbrella and preach the gospel <laughs> then pastor didn't come i am i am to supposed to preach in two cities it was raining pastor could not come that city second city pastor came praise the lord <laughs> with umbrella <laughs> he preached the gospel praise the lord so that okay yesterday brother gary could not come then what will do it should i stop to uh, should i cancel my uh, trip and go I mean, go for preaching norwich no i will go make up praise the lord hallelujah all the places praise the lord we have to sometimes if you are coming to this church you will get any other sickness praise the lord trick of the devil this is a trick of the devil if you are coming to this church praise the lord any other fellowship our god will do the miracle you will get anointing this entire week the power and anointing our god want to hand over to you to you personally in your spiritual level praise the lord the wisdom the knowledge the anointing the healing whatever you need everything you are getting during the time of the fellowship and word of god praise the lord the trick of the devil is devil want to make you sick only that day that hour devil make you sick maybe you will be having the headache praise the lord you will be having any kind of pain depressions tiredness and everything so we will not turn up that means and uh, that week and their week you will be standing away from the lord praise the lord hallelujah so that everybody you should not make the fellowship with the god we have to come either this place or any other places praise the lord born again churches we have to permanently attend praise the lord the fellowship our god will bless you that means the blessings of the lord is coming we cannot expect when it's coming praise the lord that's what bible says bible you can see that one when one beautiful story we can see that one we can read that one our god's grace received one of the person the blind person praise the lord the servant when you are serving lord everybody will discourage you, your family members my back home they are not calling you praise the lord because i'm serving lord praise the lord i um, they are good people that means um, i'm serving lord because of this reason praise the lord they are not happy i believe even you are serving lord the publicly the people will not be happy praise the lord so what you have to do it people will discourage you but if you want to receive eternal life this is your personal relationship with god am i right your wife or children cannot recommend you to heaven no if you want to go to heaven individually this is a your relationship with god you have to repent you have to accept person you have to take water baptism to receive all the blessings praise the lord you have to receive if you want to receive the healing you have to increase your personal relationship with god read the bible every day you know five chapter bible including me i'm saying if i read and read i'm saying sorry praise the lord then praise and worship of god hear the word of god praise the lord hear the worship song praise the lord any of the thoughts is coming in your heart by the cast out the blood of jesus christ apply the blood of jesus christ on you call and contact with the pastors or any of the anointed people praise the lord you can then automatically your days will get increase praise the lord hallelujah this is what our god is doing praise the lord the children of god will get you can increase your spiritual life and physical life and long life only when you are making the relationship with the god praise the lord without relationship with the god you will never get any of these things praise the lord this is what i want to say to all the people so leper was saying i will read that one book of mark chapter 10 verses uh, 46 onwards praise the lord jesus came to jericho as he went out of jericho with his disciples and great multitude blind praise the lord blind person bible says he was sitting and the begging on the road timaeus bible says his name verse 47 bible says 
and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth began to cry out and say Jesus son of David how mercy on me how this blind person come to know he could not see any of the eyes am I right that means Jesus Christ was very famous how Jesus Christ could make become a very famous person because Jesus Christ was preaching the eternal glory praise the Lord eternal life that means Jesus Christ was doing the duty what the heavenly father has given to Jesus Christ praise the Lord hallelujah if you are preaching gospel if I am preaching gospel when I am preaching gospel I take all the pictures praise the Lord when I am going in any other places the town preach pictures the people are coming with me I take the picture praise the Lord what's up and preaching all the social media I share it praise the Lord hallelujah so that in Africa in India we cannot I could not go to all these countries praise the Lord when they are seeing this video they are saying pastor we could go receive the encouragement we are doing this gospel work praise the Lord we cannot do we cannot pay them give the money to everybody am I right at least if you can motivate give motivation in Christ to somebody praise the Lord they can do the gospel work through them lots of people in the USA and Canada praise the Lord Europe European countries even here also most of the Indian people praise the Lord and uh, Africans praise the Lord and um, including people from this country they got lots of encouragement to do our gospel work praise the Lord so lots of people are invited still left I want to go, go all the places one by one praise the Lord so how you are doing God will establish your territory when you are preaching gospel the world will come to know your name that's what the Bible says book of Genesis take it book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 can you read that one book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 our God this God's promises Holy Spirit is saying read that one Holy Spirit is saying book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 can you read that one God will establish your name yeah. I will bless you abundantly. Yeah. And make your name great. Great. To distinguish. That's enough. You... That's enough. I will make your name great. Praise the Lord. That's it. Okay. If you're preaching gospel, praise the Lord. The blessings of the Lord it is already given to Abraham. Praise the Lord. The, the covenant of blessing. Covenant blessing cannot be break. Cannot be changed. Am I right? We all are in the covenant blessings of Jesus Christ which the heavenly father already had given to Abraham, Jacob and David. We are in the covenant of blessings. Praise the Lord. When you are sitting in this covenant blessings, in the God's entire protection, it will cover you. Devil cannot touch you. Praise the Lord. Your body. Poverty cannot destroy you. There will be a poverty. Poverty cannot destroy you. Destroy you. Your sickness cannot destroy your life. Praise the Lord. Our God will command to the devil I'm not giving you the permission to, to touch your soul. Praise the Lord. That's what our God is saying to Job. You can make him sick. Does it matter? I'm giving the permission, whatever. But I'm not again giving the permission to touch his soul. So, if you want to take the soul, you have to get the permission from the God. This is what our God is saying to Job. Am I right? Our God cannot touch devil cannot touch you your soul our soul if your soul want to go from earth to anywhere without permission of God it cannot be moved praise the Lord this is what I want to say so we are in the covenant blessings of God praise the Lord so that if you are preaching gospel that's what you have to everybody should come to you know you are the child of God if you are a singer the world will come to you know you are the singer not the few people, the old people. Praise the Lord. Our, our God's promise is there. Your name will become great. The preaching, the singing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Prayer level, engaging level, share the word of God to everybody. The people will come and ask you for healing. You will do the healing prayer. In all the areas, what are Jesus Christ has done in this world? Everything in all the things. Bible says, you are a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. This is what I want to say to everybody. Praise the Lord. Even the small things we are doing for God. Praise the Lord. We have to give encouragement to everybody. You have to tell them, you are the child of God. Praise the Lord. Then only people can call you for the prayer. Am I right? Otherwise they cannot call you. 
because they should know who you are. The people, Jesus Christ preaches the gospel in Samaria, Jerusalem, and Judea. People, they themselves come to know Jesus is a Christ. Am I right? Praise the Lord. The woman of Canaan, he, she has herself come to know Jesus is a Christ. She was asking, Lord, have mercy on me. Praise the Lord. The century, he was asking, Lord, have mercy on me. Praise the Lord. This leper was asking to the Jesus Christ, Lord, have mercy on me. Praise the Lord. Everybody they themselves come to know Jesus is a Lord. That is Jesus Christ's name, it was so established. Praise the Lord. Am I right? So that you have to travel and preach the gospel to everybody. Praise the Lord. There's a leper. By five minute time, I'm going to finish the session. Five or six minute time. Okay. Bible says, Book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 47. In this Bible says, When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. How this blind person come to know Jesus is a Christ? Jesus is the son of David? No, never. Jesus should be the son of Joseph. Am I right? Am I right? Jesus is the son of Joseph, according to the world eyes. But how this blind person received the revelation? Jesus is the son of David. How all the Spirit has touched his heart. Right, the Lord? Am I right? He was saying, Bible, Jesus, Jesus, he was saying, when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, the son of David. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is David's son spiritually. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say. So, many people want him and be quiet. But he cried out all the more. All more. He cried, cried out more. Son of David. How mercy on me. What revelation he has received? He was declaring that the revelation from his mouth in front of everybody. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit has given a revelation to the blind person. Jesus is not a normal person. Jesus is a Christ and the son of David, not the son of Joseph. He was declaring what revelation he has received. The revelation he was declaring in front of everybody. How mercy on me. Praise the Lord. This is what. If you are declaring the revelation what Jesus Christ has given, definitely given to you. If you are saying something, something to somebody, our God will act for you. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say. Maybe healing or deliverance or whatever. Our God will use you. Praise the Lord. This is what. Now I am standing here. I was declaring, I, will, I, I was saying when I born again, 2013. A little speed, okay, I don't know, you can follow. See, I, I was declaring, one day I will preach in the church. I will preach in the street. Praise the Lord. In front of everybody. There is a prophecy. All the pastors and everybody, they were giving the prophecy. I will travel to the nations and preach the gospel. How it will happen? I don't know. <laughs> but I know that one day I will do it. I was declaring from my mouth. But in the church, I was not getting any of the giants. Oh God, what will I do? Only selected people are coming and standing in front of the Lord. Now you are the lucky. You are getting the chance. Okay. And I was not getting any of the single chance to say testimony. Okay. If I was coming, when I was coming in front of me, lots of people, they were standing. I was crying and going back to the home. Praise the Lord. Lots of people, they were having lots of experience. But we are small people. How will get a chance? No. But our God will never deny, forget. Our God is not at all unjust. Praise the Lord. The work, the desire which you have in you. Praise the Lord in your heart. Our God is saying, I'm not at all unjust to work. The work, the work which you have done for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Revelation chapter 2, chapter 3, verses 8. Can you read that one? Holy Spirit is saying to read. Book of Revelation chapter 3, verses 8, I think. Praise the Lord. In your weakness. Then I will finish this section. Book of Revelation chapter 3, verses 8. In your weakness, you have done, you have done something for me. I am not a transgressor to do something for you. Praise the Lord. That's what. That's what. Pardon? Let's say you have limited power then. And I've kept my word. Yeah. And have not renounced or denied my name. Correct. This is what. This is what Holy Spirit is saying to read that one. Okay? You have limited power. In front of God, you are me nothing. Praise the Lord. The mercy of the Lord, because of the mercy of the Lord, we are here. Our God knows very well, you have little power. 
And God will never look at your bank balance. Praise the Lord. Your family relations, your house, the things which you have possessed in this world. Our God will never look at any of the things. But our God is looking at you. In your little power. You have not denied my word. This is what our God is saying. You are preaching the gospel, witnessing me in front of everybody. Because of this reason, I will open a door for you. Because of this reason, I will heal you. Because of this reason, your paperwork will be ready. Praise the Lord. Because of this reason, your family members, they were isolating you. Book of Psalm chapter 23, I will prepare a table for you in front of your adversaries. Because in your little power, you are not at all denying my name. I am the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the leper, that one person with little power, he was not at all keeping quiet. He was saying, Son of David, have mercy on me. All the disciples, all the multitude, they were saying, you should not talk. How much they were saying. He was not at all hearing their voice. When they tried to stop him, he was saying, again he loudly increased his voice. He was saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Praise the Lord. In his weakness, he was not at all denying. He was not at all ashamed to use Jesus' name. I want to call Spirit of saying, say the name of Ashem. Holy Spirit was pushing to say, say the name of Ashem. You are not at all ashamed. That blind person was not at all ashamed. Praise the Lord. Church members will come. When you say hallelujah, praise the Lord. People will come and look at you. You should not be ashamed. You should not be ashamed to say hallelujah in front of everybody. Praise the Lord. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says, then Jesus stood and commanded him to be called. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My time is down right now. I'm going to finish. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind person and saying to him, be of good cheer. Praise the Lord. Rise. He is calling you. Just before that, you can see that everybody they were saying, you should not talk. Now, all the people which they were preventing them, praise the Lord, they were saying, be of good cheer. Praise the Lord. Be happy. Jesus Christ is calling you. This is what, okay. One day, our God will heal you. That's what I said. <laughs> one day, keep on, you have to call to God. You have to disturb God. One day, our God will increase you. Praise the Lord. One day, you will get a house. Beautiful house, you will get it. Praise the Lord. If you are serving Lord, without getting all these things, you will never get dying. Praise the Lord. One day, it will come. Praise the Lord. The, your adversaries will come and say, be of, be of good cheer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Something our God has done for you. I know that one. So that one day, your adversaries and everybody will come and say, praise the Lord. Be happy. Always be happy. Praise the Lord. What I have done against you, I'm sorry for that one. Now what you have earned, I myself came to know. We came to know. Because you yourself could not do anything by your own heart. But something greatest thing happened. Praise the Lord. This is this will be from God only. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This will be from God only. We believe accordingly. Your adversary will come and say in front of you. Praise the Lord. Medical science will come and say, Praise the Lord. Be happy. We could not heal you. But something happened in your life. Praise the Lord. Your body. What we could not do. But something happened in your life. Be of, be of good happy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let you walk in happy boat. They themselves come to know. Our God is something doing in your life. This Bible says, Praise the Lord. And Jesus Christ was calling. That blind person was saying. And throwing aside his garments. He rose and came to Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So Jesus answered. And said to him. What do you want me to do for you? Then he was asking God, he was asking, I need the sight. Then Jesus Christ said, praise the Lord. Jesus Christ healed him. Another thing, before I close this session, I want to say, when Jesus Christ called that blind person, he was throwing his garments. Praise the Lord. Garments is a sign. What are the, what are the things which is there in your life? Sinful life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Maybe you're saying something against Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Maybe some statues or anything. Maybe it will be there in your house. Praise the Lord. All these things, if you want to receive the healing, some miracle from the Lord, we have to throw it out. All these things, 
from your house, from your hand, from your purse, from your bag. Praise the Lord. Everything we have to throw it away. What all the things are preventing you to receive the blessing from the Lord, which is there in your house, in your mind, your thoughts, which are disturbing in your mind. Everything we have to throw it out. Then come back to your law. Then this God will heal you. Otherwise, you will never receive the healing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to repent your sins. Praise the Lord. What all things you are doing against your brothers and sisters, saying something against somebody, you have to repent your sins, throw it away, everything. Put it in the bin, come back to the Lord. Then you will receive it. You will receive the miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us start. We will pray. Praise the Lord. Holy Father, it is thank you for the wonderful word of God. Heavenly Father, this is a wonderful section right now. Your mercy, because of your mercy, Father God, we are sharing this word of God. Holy Spirit, you are guiding me to read a few Bible words. Father God, I bless this end of this church, all these church members, spiritually all the areas. Heavenly Father, I bless them in Jesus' name. Shikala Karati. Especially I pray for John here. Today, Buddha Adam, Jody, Sister Jody, and everybody, all the family right now. Chayden, Layla, Cherry, Julie, and everybody. So, Mrs. Benjamin, and everybody here. Heavenly Father, I bless you. In Jesus' name, I bless by the blood of Jesus Christ. I apply them, the blood of Jesus Christ. I declare the blessings in Jesus' name. Shake any of the things which is coming against your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind, I cast out right now. According to Matthew chapter 18 and 18, whatever I bind on this earth, it will be bound on this heaven. Whatever I lose on this earth, it will be lost in the heaven. And also Luke chapter 10 verse 19, you gave the authority and power over all the servants and scorpions over all the powers of the enemies. I take authority over all the evil spirit. I bind a spirit of the blood of Jesus Christ to everybody right now. Any of the sickness, any of the negative thoughts which is coming, which is preventing to receive their healing and deliverance and blessing. I spread with the blood of Jesus Christ right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bind, I cast out right now. Call right now. Shekalatu, Shekalatu, Rakana, Shekalatu, Rakana. I bless everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare long life in Jesus' name. I'll declare a joyful heart in Jesus' name. Amen. And also I pray for such a challenge with the cross right now there in the hospital. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ I declare the healing. The people, those who have been in this church, those who are going to come in this church, supported by prayer and seed, Heavenly Father, I bless them. Give them glory. The people, those who are born again in the street, Heavenly Father, apply the blood of Jesus Christ on them. Let them take the water baptism and serve you. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody. Those who have joined with me in the street, I bless each and every people, spiritually all the areas. Once again, more, I pray for in the name of the Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, and be with you all. In Jesus' name, I pray, bless each and every people. Amen. The wonderful copy, Jesus Christ.